1. Apples At the forefront of this roster are apples. Their exceptional water content, around 85%, establishes them as a linchpin in promoting kidney health. This attribute positions them as an excellent choice for augmenting fluid intake, a critical factor in bolstering optimal kidney function. Rigorous research, such as that featured in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition by Popkin et al., 2010, corroborates that sufficient hydration proficiently aids in the filtration of waste products and toxins. Furthermore, apples offer a judicious dose of potassium, a vital mineral for overall kidney well-being. While excessive potassium can be detrimental, moderate levels confer significant advantages. A medium-sized apple contributes roughly 5% of the recommended daily potassium intake, as gleaned from the USDA food database. Additionally, apples are a rich source of dietary fiber, endowing them with innate cleansing properties for the body, kidneys included. Studies, including those conducted by Taylor et al., 2004, in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, underscore the connection between a high-fiber diet and a diminished risk of kidney stones. The pivotal role of fiber in facilitating waste removal and preventing kidney stone formation is evident. Going beyond fiber, apples are a treasure trove of antioxidants and phytochemicals like flavonoids and polyphenols. These compounds have been shown to safeguard kidney function against oxidative stress and inflammation. Moreover, apples bestow an array of essential vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin C, vitamin A, and vitamin K, further bolstering overall kidney health. Incorporating apples into one's diet not only enhances the culinary experience but also provides a delightful means to fortify kidney health. 2. Grapes Grapes, available in various hues like red, green, or black, emerge as a formidable ally in the realm of kidney health and detoxification. Their significant water content aids in maintaining proper hydration levels, a critical aspect of kidney function that enables the efficient removal of waste and toxins from the body. Moreover, grapes boast a wealth of antioxidants, particularly notable for their high levels of flavonoids and resveratrol. These compounds have been associated with reducing inflammation and alleviating oxidative stress within the kidneys, potentially fortifying overall kidney health. In addition, grapes exhibit natural diuretic properties owing to their generous water and potassium content. This diuretic effect stimulates increased urine production, a fundamental component of the body's innate detoxification process. Furthermore, compounds found in grapes, such as potassium and various polyphenols, have demonstrated potential in regulating blood pressure, an essential factor in maintaining optimal kidney function. Importantly, the relatively low oxalate content in grapes is significant in the prevention of kidney stone formation, as oxalates can accumulate and lead to stone development. Moreover, scientific studies have suggested that the antioxidants present in grapes may act as a safeguard against kidney damage induced by oxidative stress and inflammation, particularly relevant for individuals susceptible to kidney-related ailments. Additionally, grapes have exhibited promise in supporting urinary tract health ranging from preventing urinary tract infections to promoting overall urinary system function. Incorporating grapes into one's diet, whether through consumption of fresh grapes, dried grapes, raisins, or in the form of grape juice, not only adds a burst of flavor but also offers a nutritious means to fortify kidney health. 3. Cranberries Cranberries, known for their vibrant red hue, emerge as a potent ally in the realm of kidney health and detoxification. Their unique composition offers a plethora of attributes that contribute to this beneficial effect. Firstly, cranberries are renowned for their ability to prevent urinary tract infections, UTIs, 
due to the presence of proanthocyanidins, compounds that inhibit certain bacteria from adhering to the urinary tract lining. Moreover, cranberries contain kinic acid, a key component associated with a reduced likelihood of kidney stone formation. By impeding the aggregation of minerals, cranberries play a crucial role in mitigating the development of certain types of kidney stones. The rich antioxidant profile of cranberries, including high levels of vitamin C and various phytochemicals, combats oxidative stress and inflammation, which are potential adversaries to kidney function. In addition, cranberries serve as a natural diuretic, facilitating increased urine production. This diuretic effect aids in the expulsion of waste products and toxins from the body, thereby lending support to overall kidney health. Furthermore, anti-inflammatory compounds found in cranberries, such as flavonoids and polyphenols, hold promise in alleviating inflammation, potentially alleviating stress on the kidneys. The potassium content in cranberries also contributes to regulating blood pressure levels, a pivotal factor in maintaining optimal kidney function. Additionally, compounds within cranberries may foster a healthy gut microbiome, indirectly benefiting kidney health. A balanced gut microbiome is integral to overall well-being, including kidney function. Lastly, the abundance of vitamin C in cranberries bolsters the immune system, a crucial defense against infections that could potentially impact kidney health. 4. Blueberries Blueberries, celebrated as a nutritional powerhouse, excel as a formidable ally in supporting kidney health and the body's natural detoxification process. Extensive scientific research firmly establishes their remarkable attributes in this realm. Bursting with antioxidants, especially anthocyanins, blueberries have been rigorously examined for their potent capacity to combat oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which present risks to optimal kidney function, as detailed in a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 2012. Additionally, the abundance of anthocyanins in blueberries has been linked to improvements in blood pressure regulation, a crucial element in preserving kidney health. Noteworthy is their role in diminishing oxidative stress not only in general bodily tissues but notably in the kidneys, underscoring their protective influence on these vital organs. The anti-inflammatory prowess of blueberries, attributed to their rich flavonoid content, offers an additional layer of support, potentially alleviating strain on the kidneys, as evidenced in research published in the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry. Equally significant is their ability to thwart bacterial adherence to the urinary tract lining, a quality that holds promise in averting urinary tract infections, UTIs, a concern with direct implications for kidney health, according to various studies. Furthermore, the low oxalate content in blueberries plays a pivotal role in preventing kidney stone formation. Moreover, research has indicated that the anthocyanins in blueberries may positively impact glucose metabolism, a particularly pertinent advantage for individuals managing diabetes. 5. Cherries Integrating cherries into your diet is a pivotal step towards promoting comprehensive kidney health. Cherries operate as natural diuretics, expediting the elimination of toxins and waste materials from the kidneys, thereby optimizing their functionality. Furthermore, cherries are rich in an array of antioxidants, including anthocyanins, catechins, and flavonoids. These robust compounds assume a critical role in safeguarding their kidneys from potential harm induced by free radicals. Moreover, cherries harbor potent anti-inflammatory properties, effectively mitigating inflammation and alleviating strain on your kidneys, ultimately reinforcing their performance. Additionally, their potassium content contributes to sustaining balanced levels of fluids, electrolytes, 
and blood pressure, fundamental elements in upholding the vitality and welfare of your kidneys. Recent studies indicate that cherries may also contribute to reducing uric acid levels in the body, as demonstrated in research published in Arthritis and Rheumatism, 2012. This reduction holds particular significance for kidney health, as heightened uric acid levels can lead to the formation of kidney stones and exacerbate conditions like gout. Furthermore, there is a growing body of evidence suggesting that the anthocyanins found in cherries may impart protective effects against the onset and progression of chronic kidney disease, further attesting to their commendable support for kidney health. 6. Strawberries Strawberries are not just a delight for the taste buds, they also offer a wealth of benefits for kidney health. They are a rich source of antioxidants including polyphenols and vitamin C. These potent compounds serve as guardians, shielding our kidneys from oxidative stress induced by harmful free radicals. Moreover, strawberries function as natural diuretics, aiding in increased urination and facilitating a swift cleansing of the kidneys. The vitamin C content in strawberries plays a dual role. It not only fortifies the immune system but also stimulates collagen production, bolstering the structure and function of the kidneys. What sets strawberries apart from other fruits is their unique component, elagic acid. This natural compound wields powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Acting as a shield, it guards your kidneys against inflammation and various kidney-related ailments. 7. Pineapple Pineapples, characterized by their refreshing tang and vibrant yellow flesh. Their unique composition boasts a multitude of attributes that actively contribute to kidney cleansing. At the forefront is the presence of bromelain, an enzyme renowned for its potent anti-inflammatory properties. This enzymatic powerhouse works diligently to reduce inflammation within the kidneys, ultimately promoting their overall well-being. Moreover, pineapples serve as a rich source of vitamin C, a formidable antioxidant that acts as a shield, safeguarding the kidneys from the harmful effects of oxidative stress while fortifying the immune system. The high water content in pineapples plays a pivotal role in expelling toxins, operating as a natural diuretic, and maintaining optimal hydration levels an indispensable support for enhanced kidney function. Additionally, pineapples offer a notable supply of manganese, an essential trace element that contributes to various metabolic processes, further bolstering kidney health. Their fiber content supports digestive health, indirectly benefiting the kidneys by ensuring efficient nutrient absorption and waste elimination. While not excessively high in potassium, Pineapples still play a role in maintaining balanced electrolyte levels, particularly important for individuals with specific dietary considerations or kidney conditions. 8. Watermelon Watermelon isn't just a delicious summertime treat, it's also a hydration hero, consisting of about 92% water by weight. Our kidneys rely on an ample supply of water to efficiently flush out toxins and waste from our bodies. Indulging in watermelon provides a refreshing surge of hydration, enabling our kidneys to carry out their vital cleansing process with ease. Furthermore, watermelon boasts a unique nutrient called citrulline, which stimulates the production of arginine. This in turn, supports the relaxation and dilation of our blood vessels, ensuring smooth blood flow to our kidneys. Additionally, the red flesh of watermelon houses another kidney-friendly nutrient known as lycopene. This potent antioxidant not only lends watermelon its vibrant hue but also offers formidable protection against harmful free radicals. 9. Pomegranates Pomegranates are a nutritional powerhouse, with their vibrant ruby-red seeds and luscious juice. 
their unique composition offers a range of attributes that actively contribute to kidney cleansing. Firstly, they are a rich source of antioxidants, especially pinacalogens, which are highly effective in neutralizing harmful free radicals. This pivotal role in combating oxidative stress forms the cornerstone of kidney protection. Additionally, pomegranates house natural anti-inflammatory agents, primarily in the form of polyphenols. These compounds work to reduce inflammation throughout the body, including in the kidneys. By alleviating this inflammation, pomegranates ease the burden on the kidneys, ultimately enhancing their performance. Another notable benefit is the support of healthy blood flow. Compounds within pomegranates have been shown to promote optimal circulation, a vital factor for the kidneys, as they rely on efficient blood flow for effective filtration and function. 10. Papaya Papaya, a standout ingredient in this delightful fruit, contains a potent enzyme known as papain, celebrated for its remarkable anti-inflammatory properties. Beyond papain, papaya is a treasure trove of essential nutrients such as vitamin C, vitamin A, folate, and dietary fiber. Vitamins A and C are revered for their powerful antioxidant effects. Folate, however, holds a unique significance for kidney health as it acts as a coenzyme in the production of glutathione, another potent antioxidant. This property is particularly valuable in protecting the kidneys. Additionally, folate plays a pivotal role in metabolizing and breaking down homocysteine, an amino acid whose elevated levels can increase the risk of kidney damage and heart disease. By incorporating this delectable fruit into your daily diet, you provide your body with enhanced defenses against heart disease, kidney issues, and a range of other health concerns. 6 Best Drinks for Kidney Health 1. Green Tea Green tea, revered for its polyphenolic richness, contains a plethora of powerful antioxidants, including catechins. These antioxidants play a pivotal role in combating oxidative stress, a condition that can detrimentally affect the kidneys due to their constant filtration and waste removal processes. Green tea's capacity to neutralize harmful free radicals can be instrumental in reducing this oxidative burden, offering substantial advantages for kidney well-being. Scientific investigations have meticulously explored the interplay between green tea consumption and kidney health. Notably, these studies have underscored several critical points. Firstly, green tea's ability to regulate blood pressure primarily attributed to its rich catechin content, holds immense promise in safeguarding the kidneys. High blood pressure is a recognized risk factor for kidney disease, and green tea's antihypertensive effects can potentially mitigate this risk. Furthermore, the anti-inflammatory properties of green tea are of significant relevance. Chronic inflammation can inflict harm upon the kidneys, and the capacity of green tea compounds to suppress inflammatory pathways may be instrumental in reducing the likelihood of kidney damage. Moreover, the antioxidative defenses conferred by green tea's polyphenols are paramount. These antioxidants serve as protective shields for renal cells, countering damage induced by oxidative stress. Consequently, Green tea may serve as a means to preserve kidney function and thwart the progression of kidney ailments. Additionally, the potential for green tea to assist in managing diabetes cannot be understated. Type 2 diabetes is a substantial predisposing factor for kidney disease, and green tea's ability to enhance insulin sensitivity and regulate glucose levels may diminish the risk of diabetic nephropathy a diabetes-related kidney complication. Lastly, the antifibrotic attributes observed in animal studies with green tea compounds hold promise. Kidney fibrosis often manifests in chronic kidney disease, 
and green tea's antifibrotic effects may offer therapeutic avenues to hinder or decelerate fibrosis progression within the kidneys. Do you want to know the best green tea brewing method now? First, remember that to achieve all the benefits of green tea, you should use high-quality loose-leaf green tea, not tea bags. This ensures that you are using the whole tea leaves and valuable essence. First, pour non-boiling water over the tea leaves and let it steep for about 10 seconds. Then, discard this water. This helps remove some of the initial tea compounds, eliminating any stimulating substances and ensuring the pure taste of green tea. Next, pour hot, not boiling, water onto the tea leaves and let the tea steep for one or two minutes. This process allows the tea leaves to fully open up and diffuse the essence of green tea, allowing you to enjoy all the nutritional benefits it offers. However, if green tea bags are your only option, you can still enjoy their benefits for your kidney health. Try this method and feel the difference. 2. Lemon Juice First and foremost, lemon juice stands out for its high citrate content. Citrate, a compound found abundantly in lemon juice, plays a pivotal role in preventing the formation of kidney stones, especially calcium oxalate stones. This happens because citrate binds to calcium ions in the urine, reducing the availability of calcium for stone formation, as confirmed by a study in the Journal of Urology in 2007. Moreover, Despite its acidic taste, lemon juice has an alkalizing effect once metabolized in the body. This alkalization is particularly valuable for maintaining an optimal urinary pH level. Studies, such as the one in the British Journal of Urology International in 2009, underscore the potential of lemon juice in elevating urinary pH levels and decreasing the risk of certain types of kidney stones such as uric acid stones. Lemon juice also boasts significant antioxidant properties, primarily due to its high vitamin C content. Antioxidants are invaluable in combating oxidative stress, which can harm kidney cells over time. A study published in Free Radical Biology and Medicine in 2005 highlighted the potential of vitamin C in lemon juice to mitigate oxidative stress. In addition to its antioxidant benefits, lemon juice can serve as a gentle diuretic, stimulating increased urine production when consumed in moderation. Adequate hydration and mild diuretic effects help in flushing out waste products and reducing fluid retention. Furthermore, chronic inflammation poses a risk to kidney health. Lemon juice contains compounds like flavonoids that exhibit anti-inflammatory properties. This anti-inflammatory potential may aid in shielding kidney tissues from damage caused by persistent inflammation. Start your day with a simple mixture of 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, 2 tablespoons of pure lemon juice, and 500 milliliters of water on an empty stomach. This mixture contains acetic acid from apple cider vinegar, citric acid from lemon juice, and vitamin C, all of which have the ability to cleanse your kidneys. 3. Black Coffee First and foremost, black coffee is a rich source of antioxidants, including chlorogenic acid, which plays a crucial role in reducing oxidative stress within the body. Research studies, such as the one featured in the Journal of Nutrition in 2014, have consistently highlighted the antioxidant prowess of black coffee. Additionally, caffeine in black coffee contributes to improved blood flow, ensuring the kidneys receive a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients, which is vital for their optimal functioning. Black coffee's mild diuretic effect can help eliminate excess sodium and waste products from the body, potentially preventing issues like fluid retention. However, it's essential to consume coffee in moderation to avoid dehydration. Moreover, moderate coffee consumption may lower the risk of kidney stone formation, 
as suggested by studies like the one in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology in 2017. This may be attributed to increased urine output and a potential reduction in calcium oxalate crystal formation. Furthermore, some studies, including the one published in the Journal of Nephrology in 2019, have hinted at caffeine's potential to alleviate symptoms associated with kidney disease, such as fatigue. However, it's crucial to exercise caution. Excessive coffee intake can lead to dehydration, increased blood pressure, sleep disturbances, and digestive discomfort. Monitoring caffeine intake and staying hydrated are key factors for those concerned about their kidney health. 4. Beet juice. Beet juice is well known for its remarkable nitrate content, which plays a pivotal role in supporting kidney health. When consumed, these nitrates are converted into nitric oxide, NO, within the body, a process that has been extensively studied. Nitric oxide acts as a vasodilator, relaxing blood vessels and potentially leading to reduced blood pressure. Notably, a study published in the Hypertension Journal in 2008 established a significant reduction in blood pressure as a result of dietary nitrate supplementation, akin to what beet juice offers. Furthermore, beets are a rich source of antioxidants, including betalanes and vitamin C. These antioxidants are instrumental in combating oxidative stress and inflammation, processes closely linked to kidney health. Scientific investigations, such as the one outlined in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry in 2001, have underscored the potent antioxidant capacity of beet extracts. In addition to their antioxidant properties, beets may have a positive impact on kidney stone prevention. The study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food in 2013 emphasized how beetroot extract reduced the formation of calcium oxalate crystals, a common component of kidney stones. Nonetheless, it's crucial to exercise moderation when incorporating beet juice into your diet, especially if you have pre-existing kidney conditions. Excessive nitrate intake can potentially affect renal function negatively, as observed in certain research studies. 5. Cranberry Juice Cranberry juice is a remarkable beverage with a multitude of potential benefits for kidney health. Its rich antioxidant content, particularly proanthocyanidins, equips it with anti-inflammatory properties, making it a valuable ally against chronic inflammation, a contributing factor to kidney damage and dysfunction. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2013 corroborated these effects, demonstrating that cranberry juice consumption led to a reduction in markers of inflammation in subjects with chronic kidney disease. Furthermore, cranberry juice has long been revered for its ability to prevent urinary tract infections UTIs. The proanthocyanidins present in cranberries act as a shield preventing bacteria from adhering to the urinary tract lining, thus diminishing the risk of UTIs. Recent research in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2016 substantiated this claim, revealing that cranberry products, including cranberry juice, can effectively reduce the recurrence of UTIs, a benefit that reverberates positively throughout the entire kidney health spectrum. As if that weren't enough, cranberry juice also provides formidable antioxidant protection. Oxidative stress can wreak havoc on kidney cells and contribute to kidney diseases. A comprehensive review in Advances in Nutrition in 2019 underscored the potential of cranberry polyphenols in alleviating oxidative stress and fortifying kidney function. But the benefits of cranberry juice don't stop there. For individuals at risk of kidney disease due to high blood pressure, cranberry juice offers potential support. Studies published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2015 have hinted at cranberry juice's role in modestly reducing blood pressure, 
a significant boon for kidney health, especially among hypertensive individuals. Lastly, cranberry juice may even help prevent the formation of certain kidney stones, including the common calcium oxalate stones. The compounds within cranberry juice have the remarkable ability to thwart the crystallization of calcium oxalate in the urine, potentially reducing the likelihood of stone formation. 6. Seltzer Water Seltzer water, also known as carbonated water or sparkling water, can be a valuable addition to a kidney-friendly diet. It offers several scientific benefits that support renal well-being. Firstly, seltzer water provides hydration without the drawbacks of added sugars or artificial additives. This makes it an excellent choice for maintaining optimal kidney function, especially for those concerned about their sugar intake. Additionally, seltzer water is typically low in sodium, a crucial aspect of kidney health, as excessive sodium consumption can lead to hypertension and kidney damage. Furthermore, seltzer water's potential to aid in kidney stone prevention is noteworthy. Some studies suggest that the carbonation in seltzer water may increase urine flow, helping to flush out minerals that contribute to kidney stone formation. This property can be particularly beneficial for individuals at risk of developing kidney stones. Moreover, seltzer water serves as a refreshing and enjoyable way to stay hydrated. Its effervescence and mild acidity can encourage increased fluid intake, which is essential for maintaining healthy kidney function. Lastly, seltzer water offers versatility and flavor. By adding a splash of citrus fruits like lemon or lime, you can enhance its taste without compromising its kidney-friendly attributes. These citrus fruits not only add flavor but also provide a modest amount of vitamin C, which contributes to overall kidney health. Top Drinks to Avoid for Kidney Disease 1. Sodas and Carbonated Beverages Have you ever wondered how your favorite sodas and carbonated beverages might be affecting your kidney health? The relationship between these drinks and renal function is complex and well documented in scientific research. Firstly, the high phosphorus content in many sodas, especially the dark colored varieties, is a significant risk factor. Phosphorus additives are absorbed more efficiently than natural sources, as indicated in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. This can lead to hyperphosphatemia particularly harmful in kidney disease, where phosphorus regulation is impaired. Moreover, the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology highlights the link between high phosphorus intake and the progression of kidney disease. Secondly, the high sugar content in sodas is concerning. Research in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology demonstrates an association between sugary drink consumption and a heightened risk of chronic kidney disease. This is due to the exacerbation of obesity and diabetes, conditions closely linked with kidney health. Thirdly, the presence of caffeine in these beverages is notable. Excessive caffeine can cause dehydration, as shown in studies from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases. This is problematic for individuals with kidney disease, who may already have impaired fluid balance capabilities. Furthermore, caffeine can increase blood pressure, a major risk factor for kidney damage. The acidity of sodas also plays a crucial role. According to the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, a higher dietary acid load, contributed by the acidic content of sodas, can accelerate the decline in kidney function in people with chronic kidney disease. Lastly, the impact of artificial sweeteners in diet sodas is an emerging concern. Research presented at the American Society of Nephrology's annual meeting links the consumption of artificially sweetened sodas to kidney function decline in women. While more research is needed, this finding suggests that individuals with kidney disease should exercise caution with these beverages.
2. Energy Drinks Energy drinks, popular for their energizing properties, can be particularly harmful to individuals with kidney disease. One major concern is their elevated caffeine levels. Research from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases has shown that high caffeine consumption can cause dehydration. This is a significant issue for those with kidney disease, as their kidneys may already be functioning suboptimally. Additionally, caffeine is notorious for raising blood pressure, which can further harm already weakened kidneys. The sugar content in energy drinks is another critical factor. Studies, like those in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, have established a connection between high sugar diets and an increased likelihood of chronic kidney disease. The concern here is that excessive sugar can worsen conditions like diabetes and obesity, which are known to negatively impact kidney health. Apart from caffeine, energy drinks often contain other stimulants such as taurine and guarana. The exact impact of these substances on kidneys isn't completely clear, but they are suspected of contributing to heightened blood pressure and additional stress on the kidneys. Energy drinks can also disturb the body's electrolyte balance, impacting key minerals like sodium and potassium. This is particularly critical for kidney disease patients, whose kidneys may not be effective in managing these electrolytes. An imbalance in electrolytes can lead to further kidney complications and other health issues. Interactions between the ingredients in energy drinks and kidney disease medications are also a concern. Caffeine, for example, can interact with certain medications used to manage blood pressure, altering their effectiveness or leading to unwanted side effects. Additionally, the acidity level in some energy drinks can be quite high contributing to an increased dietary acid load. This is problematic, as research in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology indicates that a high dietary acid load can quicken the decline in kidney function for those with existing kidney conditions. 3. Alcoholic Beverages Alcoholic beverages, while commonly consumed for leisure, presents several health risks for individuals with kidney disease. Firstly, alcohol's diuretic effect leads to increased urine production and subsequent dehydration, a concern highlighted in the Journal of Renal Nutrition. For those with kidney disease, maintaining adequate hydration is essential, as dehydration can impose additional strain on already compromised kidneys, potentially exacerbating the condition. Moreover, the link between alcohol consumption and high blood pressure is well established. The American Journal of Hypertension reports that regular and excessive intake of alcohol can result in hypertension, a significant risk factor that can both precipitate and accelerate kidney disease. The relationship between alcohol, liver disease, and kidney health is also noteworthy. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to liver conditions like cirrhosis, which, as per the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, adversely affects kidney function. Given the interconnectedness of liver and kidney health, liver complications can worsen kidney disease. Alcohol can also disrupt the balance of vital electrolytes, including sodium, potassium, and magnesium. This is particularly problematic for individuals with kidney disease, as an imbalance in these electrolytes can lead to further complications. The journal Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation has cited that electrolyte disturbances are a serious concern in patients with chronic kidney disease. Another significant issue is the interaction between alcohol and medications used to treat kidney disease. Alcohol can interfere with the effectiveness of these drugs or heighten their side effects, complicating the management of kidney health, as discussed in various pharmacological studies. Lastly, alcohol's direct toxic effect on kidney cells cannot be overlooked. 
Research in the Renal Failure Journal indicates that alcohol can induce structural and functional changes in the kidneys, contributing to damage over time, especially in those already suffering from kidney disorders. 4. Fruit Juices with Added Sugars Fruit juices with added sugars, while often perceived as healthy, can adversely affect individuals with kidney disease. The high sugar content of these beverages is a primary concern. According to research in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, consuming high amounts of sugar can lead to the development and progression of kidney disease. This is especially relevant for diabetic patients, where poor glycemic control is a key risk factor for diabetic nephropathy, a leading cause of kidney disease. Additionally, the excessive caloric content in sugary fruit juices contributes to obesity, a major risk factor for chronic kidney disease. The Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology has reported a link between obesity and kidney disease, where increased body weight can lead to higher blood pressure and an additional strain on the kidneys. Another issue is the potential presence of phosphorus additives in these juices. These additives can exacerbate hyperphosphatemia, as indicated in studies from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases. High phosphorus levels in the body can cause bone and cardiovascular problems in people with kidney disease and accelerate the disease's progression. Regular intake of sweetened fruit juices is also associated with metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions that increase the risk of chronic kidney disease. The New England Journal of Medicine has shown that metabolic syndrome, characterized by conditions like high blood sugar and increased blood pressure, significantly raises the risk of kidney disease. Lastly, the dietary acid load contributed by certain fruit juices, particularly those with added sugars, can increase the risk of kidney stone formation. Research from the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology suggests that a higher dietary acid load can lead to kidney stones, which can further impair kidney function in those with existing kidney disease. 5. Iced Tea Iced tea, a popular beverage, particularly in warmer months, has several aspects that can affect the health of individuals with kidney disease. The primary concern with iced tea is its high oxalate content. Oxalates, natural compounds found in various foods, are abundant in tea. For those with kidney disease, high oxalate levels can be problematic as their kidneys may struggle to filter these compounds effectively, leading to the potential formation of kidney stones. Research has linked high oxalate intake to an increased risk of calcium oxalate kidney stones, a common type of kidney stone. Commercially prepared iced teas often contain high levels of added sugars and calories. This excessive sugar intake can lead to weight gain and obesity, known risk factors for chronic kidney disease. Additionally, high sugar consumption can worsen diabetes a major contributor to kidney disease. For those with advanced kidney disease, especially those undergoing dialysis, fluid intake management is crucial. Consuming large amounts of any fluid, including iced tea, can lead to fluid overload, which can strain the kidneys and other organs. Lastly, the mineral content in iced tea should not be overlooked. Depending on the water and ingredients used, iced tea can contain varying levels of minerals like sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Managing the intake of these minerals is important for people with kidney disease, as their kidneys may not regulate these minerals effectively. 5 Keys to Lower Creatinine Key 1. Know Your Enemy I believe wholeheartedly that this should be the first piece of wisdom shared with anyone stepping into the world of kidney disease. It's about truly understanding the challenge ahead. Yes, it might feel a bit daunting at first, especially if this world is new to you. I've crossed paths with folks who'd rather stay in the dark, 
but let's look at it another way. Those who embrace an active role in their journey towards healing, making informed decisions about their treatment, consistently witness more positive outcomes. This is why grasping the extent of your kidney function is crucial, it's the first step in taking the reins of your health. Let's walk through this together. In the next part of our discussion, we'll explore the stages of chronic kidney disease, CKD, and the symptoms each stage may bring into your life. CKD unfolds in five stages, starting from stage one, where signs are whisper quiet and there are no glaring complications, all the way to stage five. The journey from one stage to the next sees an increase in symptom severity as kidney function wanes. Your stage of CKD hinges on your glomerular filtration rate, GFR, a true measure of your kidney's health. If terms like GFR are unfamiliar, don't fret, I'm here to guide you through it, simplifying it to the essence of your kidney's health. Seeing your GFR above 90 means you're in stage 1, with each subsequent stage marking a decrease in functionality. But here's a crucial takeaway, don't wait for symptoms to seek clarity on your kidney health. I urge everyone, especially if you're navigating risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family history of kidney disease, to seek testing early. Remember, early detection can transform your journey with CKD, potentially halting its progression in its tracks. Despite the silent nature of early stages, being proactive can significantly alter your course. Treatment and dietary needs differ vastly across stages. Someone with 50% kidney function faces a different set of challenges and dietary restrictions than someone at 10%. Understanding the nuances of your condition isn't just beneficial, it's transformative. Many patients are unaware of how pivotal personalized treatment and diet adjustments are. So, let's embark on this journey together, armed with knowledge and compassion, to navigate the complexities of CKD. Key 2. Understand Lab Values Embarking on the journey through kidney disease you'll find that lab tests become familiar landmarks, blood tests, urine samples, they're all part of the terrain now. These tests, these numbers, they're like whispers from your body, telling a story that's crucial for you to hear. And yes, in a perfect world, your doctor would be the translator, decoding every detail for you. But we know, don't we? That sometimes, our world is less than perfect. That's precisely why I'm sharing this with you, heart to heart. To truly stand strong against kidney disease, you need to understand its language, to know where you stand in its vast landscape, and to grasp the roots of what's causing the harm. Now, I'm not saying you need to become a lab technician overnight. No, that's not it. But there are a few key markers. Let's call them the four life-saving tests that you should get familiar with. These are the signposts that matter most on your journey. And while it might seem daunting at first, I'm here to guide you through understanding these crucial values. Together, we'll make sure you're not just hearing your body's whispers, but truly listening. First life-saving test, blood pressure. Let's lean in closer and unravel the first of our life-saving tests, your blood pressure. Imagine blood pressure as a whisper of your heart and vessels, a vital conversation that you need to be part of. Blood pressure isn't just any test, it's a critical marker, standing as the second most common herald of kidney failure, right after diabetes. But the tale it tells is more complex. High blood pressure can both harm your kidneys and emerge as a consequence of kidney damage. It's a loop, a dance that, if left unchecked, can spiral. So, how do we break this cycle? By keeping a vigilant eye on our blood pressure. Let's talk numbers, the signposts of your well-being. Dream numbers look like this, below 120-80. That's your green zone. Elevated blood pressure? 
that's when you're hovering below 130 over 80, still in a space where adjustments can make a world of difference. But if you find yourself stepping over the 139 over 89 line, you've entered high blood pressure territory. This is where your doctor steps in, guiding you through medications and lifestyle shifts to steer you back to safety. Here's a silver lining. Monitoring your blood pressure can be as simple as a quiet moment at home with a basic device. Regular checks are your roadmap, showing you how well your efforts are paying off. Make it a ritual, jot down those numbers, and watch the patterns. They're the breadcrumbs leading you towards understanding and action, towards a healthier heart, and kidneys that whisper back in gratitude. Second test is protein in the urine. Now, let's gently step into understanding our second vital test, which involves looking for protein in your urine. Think of this as a delicate signal from your kidneys, sometimes the very whisper that first hints at kidney disease. It's a message you don't want to miss, yet, so often, this crucial sign doesn't receive the spotlight it deserves. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? that such a simple test could stand between you and the early detection of kidney disease. Especially for those of you who haven't been diagnosed but find yourselves walking the tightrope of risk, it's time to listen closely for this whisper. Albumin is the key word here, a type of protein whose presence in your urine could be the first clue that your kidneys are calling out for attention. So, what number should you hope to see? A beacon of good news in this test shines when you have less than 30 mg of albumin for every gram of urinary creatinine. This number is your secret garden, a safe haven where your kidneys flourish, free from the shadow of disease. Remember, this isn't just about numbers and tests, it's about tuning into the subtle signals your body sends, signals that could guide you towards preserving your health. So, let's promise to listen more closely, to seek out these whispers of warning, and respond with the care and attention they, and you, deserve. Third test is creatinine and GFR. If your journey reveals more albumin than the safe harbor allows, consider it a gentle nudge, a sign that your kidneys may be whispering for help. Let's turn our attention to our third guidepost, the serum creatinine test. This test shines a light on the levels of creatinine in your blood, serving as one of the primary beacons of your kidney function. Understanding your creatinine levels is akin to learning the language of your body. For adults, the serene waters of normalcy flow between 0.6 to 1.2 mg per deciliter. A rise in these levels? It's like the tide warning us that the kidney's function may be ebbing away. And as we navigate these waters, there's another lighthouse guiding our journey, the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. Picture the GFR as the most attentive sentinel, offering a detailed map of your kidney's performance. It doesn't just whisper, it speaks clearly, telling you precisely where you stand in the landscape of chronic kidney disease, CKD. This is why regular voyages to check your creatinine and GFR are so crucial. They're not just checkups, they're heart-to-hearts with your body, understanding its needs and responding with love and care. As we adjust our sails according to the winds of CKD, remember that while each journey is unique, with its own symptoms and challenges, there are universal truths in the seas of dietary habits. These truths, these lighthouses guide all who navigate kidney disease towards calmer waters. Key 3. Embracing the Renal-Friendly Plant-Based Diet Diving into our third key to unlocking a healthier future for your kidneys, let's talk about the power of diet. If there's one thing I want you to remember, it's that your diet can either be a source of healing or a burden to your kidneys. And trust me, Choosing the path of nourishment is simpler than you might think. Enter the plant-based renal diet. This isn't about following a trend, it's about embracing a lifestyle that lightens the load on your kidneys. 
The goal here is to minimize protein intake, especially the kinds that sneak up on you from meat and processed foods. How do we navigate this? Let's visualize it together with the help of this slide, highlighting the processed villains we're better off without. Imagine replacing those processed, sugar-laden, and sodium-packed foes with a rainbow of kidney-nourishing foods. We're talking vibrant vegetables, succulent fruits, hearty whole grains, and a treasure trove of legumes and nuts. This isn't just about going vegan, it's a strategic approach to eating that includes lean proteins and fish, chosen with care to ensure they're low in phosphorus and potassium. This way of eating is smart, intentional, and, yes, delicious. I understand the challenge of finding kidney-friendly foods that also delight the taste buds, especially when navigating kidney disease. From grains that grace your plate to snacks that satisfy without compromise. Stay tuned for the next key, a revelation that could very well be a lifeline for your health. Key 4. Navigating the world of medications. As we venture deeper into our journey, we arrive at a critical crossroads, the medications you take. From my heart to yours, this is a conversation we need to have. Seeing the landscape through the eyes of someone living with kidney disease, I've learned something profound. The wrong medication or dosage can be a more formidable foe than the disease itself. To stand strong against CKD, it's essential to become the guardian of your medication regimen. It's a truth not spoken enough. Not every doctor will sift through your medication list with the meticulous care it deserves. That's why I encourage you to take the reins. Document every pill, every dose, and present this log to your doctor, ensuring nothing slips through the cracks. A word on over-the-counter medications especially NSAIDs like ibuprofen, naproxen, and yes, even aspirin. These common remedies, while seemingly benign, carry a hidden blade capable of inflicting lasting damage on your kidneys. Did you know they're behind up to 5% of new chronic kidney disease cases each year? If you're like many, reaching for an NSAID at the first whisper of a headache or fever has become almost second nature. I've been there, too. But here's the thing, they're not as innocuous as they seem. For those with vulnerable kidneys, NSAIDs wield a toxic power, capable of exacerbating damage. This doesn't mean you're left without options. The key lies in using analgesics judiciously, opting for the lowest effective dose, for the shortest duration necessary. If NSAIDs have been a part of your routine, Let's start a conversation with your healthcare provider. Together, we can find safer paths to relief, ones that safeguard the health of your kidneys and nurture your overall well being. Key 5 Managing Diabetes and High Blood Pressure. We've journeyed together through the keys to kidney health, and now we arrive at the heart of it all managing diabetes and high blood pressure. These two are the leading culprits behind kidney disease, which is why I hold this key closest to my heart. Everything we've talked about, the kidney-friendly diet, the careful choice of medications, the lifestyle shifts, all of it circles back to one critical mission, keeping your blood pressure and blood sugar levels in harmony. Imagine giving your kidneys the breathing space they need to heal. A fasting blood sugar level under 100 mg per deciliter is where we aim to be, with numbers between 100 to 125 signaling prediabetes, and 126 and above stepping into diabetes territory. If you find yourself in these higher ranges, let's take a deep breath together. It's manageable, with a path paved by simple, yet profound, choices. Eating smart isn't just advice, it's a lifeline. A vibrant plate full of vegetables, fruits, and a firm no to sweetened drinks and added sugars can be your shield against diabetes. Keeping a healthy weight isn't just about appearance, it's a cornerstone of managing diabetes and, 
by extension, protecting your kidneys. And let's not forget the power of movement and the grace of living stress-free. These aren't just good habits, they're your allies in this fight. The advice rings true for every soul battling kidney disease, and it echoes just as strongly when we talk about blood pressure. Improving your kidney health starts with nurturing your heart, taking every step necessary to maintain a balanced blood pressure. Checking your blood pressure at home should become as routine as brushing your teeth, or regular check-in with your heart and kidneys. And remember, the paths we've explored together, our diet, our medications, they all lead to this moment, where keeping your blood pressure in check isn't just a goal, it's a commitment to reversing kidney disease. As we close this chapter, know that our journey together continues. 9 Bad Habits That Read Destroying Your Kidneys 1. Excessive Salt Consumption Excessive salt consumption can have significant repercussions on kidney health, and these consequences are substantiated by a body of scientific evidence. High salt intake can lead to hypertension, a condition where blood pressure becomes elevated due to increased sodium levels in the bloodstream. As a result, the body retains more water to dilute the sodium concentration, placing added strain on blood vessels. This elevated blood pressure is a well-established risk factor for kidney disease, as it can harm the delicate blood vessels within the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste products and maintain fluid balance effectively. Furthermore, the detrimental effects of excessive sodium go beyond raising blood pressure. Excessive sodium can directly damage kidney tissues by inducing inflammation and oxidative stress. The disruption of the delicate electrolyte balance within the body, caused by high sodium levels, can hinder the kidney's capacity to regulate salt and water efficiently. Over time, this may lead to kidney tissue damage, potentially contributing to the development and progression of chronic kidney disease CKD. Studies, including the Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension DASH, trial and research published in the American Journal of Physiology Renal Physiology, have underscored the connection between high salt intake and kidney damage. Consequently, reducing salt intake is not only a prudent measure to lower blood pressure but also a crucial step in preserving kidney health and mitigating the risk of kidney-related complications. 2. Inadequate Hydration Insufficient hydration, often overlooked in our daily routines, can lead to a cascade of adverse effects on kidney function. One significant consequence is the reduction in blood flow to the kidneys due to a decrease in overall blood volume. This diminished blood supply means that the kidneys receive less oxygen and nutrients, which can impair their ability to operate at their best. Studies, such as the one published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology, have provided clear evidence of this phenomenon even with mild dehydration. Furthermore, the implications of inadequate hydration extend to the kidney's vital role in removing waste and toxins from the bloodstream. When the body lacks sufficient water, waste products can become concentrated in the urine, posing a challenge for the kidneys to eliminate them effectively. This heightened concentration can potentially lead to the accumulation of toxins in the body and elevate the risk of developing kidney stones or urinary tract infections. Scientific research in the American Journal of Physiology Renal Physiology underscores the necessity of proper hydration for facilitating the kidney's waste removal process. Inadequate hydration is also strongly linked to the formation of kidney stones. When there isn't enough fluid to dilute urine, the concentration of minerals and salts in the urine rises, creating conditions conducive to the crystallization of these substances. Numerous studies, including research highlighted in the Journal of Urology, have established a compelling association between low fluid intake and an elevated risk of kidney stone development. Moreover, 
prolonged inadequate hydration can potentially contribute to the onset and progression of chronic kidney disease, CKD, a condition characterized by a gradual loss of kidney function. CKD can lead to serious health complications if left untreated. Recognizing this, the National Kidney Foundation emphasizes the pivotal role of maintaining proper hydration to mitigate the risk of CKD. 3. Excessive Sugar Intake Excessive sugar intake can significantly harm kidney health through various pathways. Firstly, it raises the risk of type 2 diabetes, a major contributor to kidney disease, as it damages kidney blood vessels. Secondly, high sugar diets often lead to obesity, which strains the kidneys due to insulin resistance and inflammation. This excess body fat can even compress the kidneys physically. Additionally, excessive sugar consumption is linked to hypertension, which damages kidney blood vessels, impairing filtration. Lastly, Elevated blood sugar levels lead to the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages, that accumulate in kidney tissues, promoting oxidative stress and inflammation, ultimately causing kidney damage and a decline in function. Reducing sugar intake is crucial for preserving kidney health and minimizing kidney-related risks. 4. Overuse of Painkillers over-the-counter pain relievers, such as NSAIDs, are commonly turned to for pain relief, but their excessive or prolonged use can have detrimental effects on kidney function. These medications, including ibuprofen, aspirin, and naproxen, can reduce blood flow to the kidneys, compromising their vital role in filtering waste products and regulating blood pressure. Extensive research published in the New England Journal of Medicine underscores the link between NSAID use and kidney injury, emphasizing the risks associated with these medications. Another widely used pain reliever, acetaminophen, can also pose a threat to kidney health if overdosed. While its primary impact is on the liver, severe liver damage, induced by acetaminophen overdose, can indirectly affect kidney function, as documented in the Journal of Clinical and Translational Hepatology. Moreover, the prolonged use of certain painkillers has been associated with an increased risk of developing kidney disease, including chronic kidney disease, CKD. This condition, characterized by a gradual loss of kidney function over time, poses a long-term threat. Five. Smoking Smoking, a habit notorious for its detrimental effects on overall health, takes a toll on kidney health as well. One of its adverse consequences is the reduction in blood flow to the kidneys, attributed to the constriction of blood vessels caused by smoking. This diminished blood flow impairs the kidney's crucial role in filtering waste products and regulating blood pressure establishing a foundation for potential kidney damage over time. Scientific studies, such as those published in the American Journal of Hypertension, have effectively demonstrated the adverse effects of smoking on kidney blood flow and function. Moreover, smoking stands as a well-established risk factor for chronic kidney disease CKD a condition marked by a gradual loss of kidney function that can progress to end-stage renal disease. Furthermore, smoking has been associated with increased proteinuria, a condition characterized by an excess of protein in the urine. Proteinuria serves as an indicator of kidney damage and can manifest as an early sign of kidney disease, as documented in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. Six. Excessive alcohol consumption Excessive alcohol consumption poses significant risks to kidney health, and one of its primary consequences is the potential development of high blood pressure. Hypertension is a recognized risk factor for kidney disease, given its ability to damage the delicate blood vessels within the kidneys, thereby impairing their filtration efficiency. 
Moreover, alcohol's direct toxic effects on kidney tissues are a cause for concern. The metabolic breakdown of alcohol in the liver generates harmful byproducts, including acetaldehyde, which can have a detrimental impact on the kidneys themselves. In addition, alcohol's diuretic properties can lead to dehydration, which, in turn, reduces blood flow to the kidneys. This dehydration impairs the kidneys' vital roles in filtering waste products and regulating electrolyte balance. Furthermore, excessive alcohol intake can disrupt the body's electrolyte balance, impacting the kidneys' ability to maintain proper fluid and electrolyte levels. Lastly, binge drinking or heavy alcohol consumption increases the risk of acute kidney injury, a.k.i., a severe and sudden deterioration of kidney function with serious consequences. The Journal of the American Medical Association has delved into the association between alcohol abuse and AKI. 7. Skipping regular exercise. Skipping regular exercise can harm your kidney health in several ways. It reduces blood flow to the kidneys, potentially leading to impaired filtration. Additionally, it can contribute to weight gain and insulin resistance, increasing the risk of diabetes and high blood pressure, both of which are detrimental to kidney function. In contrast, exercise aids in glucose control and can help prevent proteinuria, an early sign of kidney dysfunction. To promote kidney health, it's crucial to incorporate regular physical activity into your routine. 8. Ignoring urinary tract infections, UTIs. Neglecting UTIs can have grave consequences for kidney health. When UTIs are left untreated, there is a risk that the infection may ascend from the lower urinary tract to the kidneys, resulting in a more severe condition known as pyelonephritis, a kidney infection. Pyelonephritis, if not promptly addressed, can lead to substantial kidney damage as highlighted by research in JAMA Network Open, which underscores the potential severity of kidney infections stemming from untreated UTIs. Furthermore, recurrent UTIs that go untreated or are not adequately managed can evolve into chronic kidney infections. Chronic infections have the potential to cause scarring of kidney tissues over time. This scarring can impair the kidney's ability to function optimally potentially leading to the development of chronic kidney disease. Persistent UTIs can also contribute to conditions such as ureteral reflux, where urine flows backward from the bladder into the kidneys. Ureteral reflux can lead to hydronephrosis, characterized by kidney swelling due to urine buildup. Both ureteral reflux and hydronephrosis can negatively impact kidney function. Moreover, untreated UTIs can promote the formation of kidney stones, which have the potential to obstruct the urinary tract and damage the kidneys by blocking urine flow. 9. Excessive Caffeine Consumption Excessive caffeine intake, a common modern habit, can significantly influence kidney health in several ways. One notable effect is dehydration. Caffeine's diuretic properties can lead to increased urine production, potentially causing dehydration if consumed excessively. Moreover, excessive caffeine consumption can lead to temporary spikes in blood pressure. While these increases may seem benign individually, chronic high blood pressure can pose a significant risk to kidney health. Additionally, Caffeine has been associated with an increased risk of kidney stone formation. Some compounds found in caffeine, particularly oxalates, can contribute to the development of kidney stones. These stones, as discussed in the Journal of Endurology, have the potential to obstruct the urinary tract, causing pain and impairing kidney function. Furthermore, excessive caffeine intake can disrupt sleep patterns, potentially leading to chronic fatigue and stress. While not a direct kidney-related effect, poor sleep quality can indirectly impact kidney health by compromising overall well-being.
10 signals and 8 ways to prevent kidney damage. 1. Fatigue. Our kidneys are the unsung heroes of our body's detoxification process. When they're not working at their best, toxins can accumulate in our blood, causing a slew of unpleasant symptoms. You might start feeling constantly tired, weak, dizzy, and struggle to stay focused. But that's not all. Healthy kidneys do more than just filter out impurities. They also play a crucial role in producing a hormone called erythropoietin, which contributes to the production of red blood cells. These little carriers of life, the red blood cells, transport precious oxygen throughout our body. So, if there's a shortage of these red blood cells due to kidney issues, you'll find yourself feeling even more exhausted and frail. This is where the unwelcome visitor known as anemia comes into the picture. 2. Feeling cool even if it's warm in the room. Sometimes, kidney disease whispers its presence through a subtle but unsettling sensation feeling cold when the room around you is comfortably warm. The culprit behind this phenomenon is often anemia, a common companion of kidney issues. Anemia can send shivers down your spine, even when everyone else in the room is enjoying the warmth. The tricky part is, this sign can easily slip under the radar or get brushed off as just anemia. It's crucial not to let it go unnoticed. So, if you find yourself constantly reaching for that extra layer or feeling chilly in a cozy room, it's a gentle nudge from your body to consider checking on your kidneys. They might be trying to tell you something important. 3. Feeling sure of breath. Feeling sure of breath is often linked to heart or lung issues, but here's a hidden truth. Kidney disease can also take your breath away. It may not be the first suspect, but it's a crucial consideration. The story behind it is this. When your kidneys struggle, they leave behind excess fluids and toxins that can't be properly filtered. Some of these unwanted guests find their way into your lungs, creating a sensation of breathlessness. Moreover, the dwindling count of red blood cells, thanks to anemia, can leave your body starved for oxygen, intensifying that feeling. In severe cases, lying down can make you feel like you're drowning in the air you're supposed to breathe. That's when you should drop everything and seek immediate medical attention. 4. Dry and itchy skin. Our kidneys are multi-talented, not only filtering toxins and producing red blood cells, but also playing a crucial role in maintaining the right balance of bone minerals. So, when your skin starts feeling parched and itchy, it might just be your kidneys trying to tell you something important. You see, failing kidneys can struggle to keep that delicate mineral balance in check which can manifest as dry and irritated skin. Additionally, the buildup of toxins in your bloodstream can trigger all sorts of skin reactions. These are subtle signals you should never overlook, as your skin might be trying to reveal the story of your kidney health. 5. Swollen ankles, feet or hands. When your kidneys aren't performing at their best, they can set the stage for an unwelcome guest fluid buildup in your body. To make matters more complicated, failing kidneys can also lead to an accumulation of sodium, a mineral that plays a role in fluid balance. Together, these factors can result in swelling in your legs, ankles, feet, or hands. But here's the tricky part, swollen extremities aren't exclusive to kidney issues. They can also signal concerns with your liver, heart, or chronic vein conditions. It's this confusing overlap that sometimes causes people to overlook the significance of swollen feet or hands. 6. Feeling puffy around your eyes. Sometimes, when your kidneys are in trouble, they can allow precious proteins to sneak into your urine. And when this happens, you might notice an unexpected puffiness around your eyes and face. It's not just your feet, ankles, or hands feeling swollen, your face joins the party too. Now, here's the catch, 
These symptoms can also raise the flag for other underlying issues. That's why it's crucial to reach out to a doctor, someone who can unravel the mystery and pinpoint the root cause. 7. Bad breath and metal taste. For those grappling with kidney disease, life can take a peculiar twist, food might start tasting like metal, and a persistent, foul breath may become an unwelcome companion. It's not just a matter of taste and breath, though, these signs can also bring along a diminished appetite. You might wonder, why is this happening? It all ties back to an accumulation of toxins in your bloodstream, a condition known as uremia. This toxic buildup can turn even the most tempting meal into a metallic experience, and the mere thought of food might trigger waves of nausea and vomiting. Don't wait too long, your body is sending a clear message, and it's crucial to heed its call for help. 8. Urination Issues Our kidneys play a significant role in crafting our bathroom experiences, so when something's amiss, it's essential to take heat. Frequent trips to the bathroom, coupled with painful or burning sensations, can be quite disconcerting. Likewise, if you've started noticing a reduction in the volume of your urine, it's a potential signal that your kidneys might be facing challenges. And let's not forget those midnight bathroom rendezvous. If you find yourself frequently waking up to answer nature's call, it's yet another clue that should prompt you to reach out to a healthcare professional without delay. 9. Foamy or Bloody Urine Our body has a unique way of sharing its stories, even when it comes to something as private as our urine. Let's dive into two crucial signals you shouldn't overlook. First, there's hematuria, a term for the presence of blood in your urine. It's like a red flag that could point to various issues, including kidney infections, tumors, kidney stones, or kidney failure. When your kidneys are struggling, they might let blood slip into your urine, turning it shades of brown, red, or even purple. Now, here's something to remember, especially for women, don't dismiss these signs as just a late period. Your body might be trying to tell you something more profound. The second signal is foamy urine, and it's another story your urine can tell. If your urine appears discolored with bubbles or white foam, it could signal an excess of protein in your urine. This foam can look quite similar to what you see when making scrambled eggs, as it's actually albumin, the same protein found in eggs. 10. Trouble sleeping. Picture this, your kidneys, your body's natural filters, are having a tough time doing their job. Toxins decide to throw a late-night party in your bloodstream, causing all sorts of chaos inside. The result? Your peaceful nights might turn into sleepless struggles. It becomes challenging to find that sweet slumber, and even when you do, an uninvited guest called sleep apnea might decide to drop by. Sleep apnea is like that unpredictable neighbor who interrupts your sleep with sudden starts and stops in your breathing pattern. It can lead to some serious snoring, and in more severe cases, even obstructive sleep patterns. Now, here's a tidbit, sleep apnea is more common among those dealing with chronic kidney disease. We've taken a close look at these 10 signs, like intimate secrets your body shares with you. And now, it's time to explore 8 ways to keep your kidneys in tip-top shape, to ensure they continue to filter, purify, and serve you well. First and foremost, let's talk about the power of proper hydration. It's the cornerstone of keeping your kidneys in tip-top shape. Just like you, these hard-working organs need the right amount of water to function at their best. So, here's a simple yet vital tip. Aim to drink about 4 to 6 glasses of water daily. It's a small step, but it makes a huge difference in supporting your kidney health. And remember, more isn't always better. Studies have shown that overhydration doesn't really offer extra benefits for your kidneys. It's all about finding that sweet spot, 
enough to keep you and your kidneys happy and healthy. Moving on to our second point, let's have a heart to heart about medications. You know those common over the counter drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen? They're great when you need them, but here's the thing if you use them too much, they can be tough on your kidneys. And it's not just them, long term use of medications like proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, can also increase your risk of kidney issues. So, let's make a pact, okay? Use these medicines thoughtfully and only when you really need them. Alright, let's dive into our third secret to a healthier you, staying active and fit. Regular exercise isn't just about looking good, it's a love letter to your entire body, including your kidneys. When you move, you're not just toning your muscles or helping your heart, you're also ensuring your kidneys are getting what they need to work their best. Activities like running, cycling, swimming, or even a daily walk can do wonders for maintaining optimal blood pressure, a key factor in kidney health. Let's talk about our fourth step to loving your kidneys, eating healthy foods. You might already know this, but it's worth repeating. The food we eat plays a huge role in our overall health, and that includes our kidneys. Research has shown that kidney issues often go hand in hand with other health problems like high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart diseases. And guess what? These conditions often sneak up on us, largely due to poor diet choices and not enough exercise. But here's the good news you have the power to make a change. By choosing a healthy nutrition plan, you're not just dodging kidney problems, you're embracing a lifestyle that nourishes your entire being. And don't think for a second that healthy food is synonymous with boring, it's anything but. There are so many scrumptious, kidney-friendly recipes out there waiting for you to try. Let's gently step into our fifth and important point, being mindful about using antibiotics. Antibiotics, they're like those superheroes in medicine, swooping in to fight off the bad bacteria in our bodies. But, just like in any epic battle, there can be collateral damage. These powerful drugs come with their own baggage often leaving toxins behind. And who's there to clean up the mess? Our ever-resilient kidneys, working overtime to filter out these toxins. Now, if your kidneys are in great shape, they can usually handle this extra workload without much fuss. But, if you're someone who has kidney concerns, it's a different story. That's why it's crucial to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your doctor before reaching for antibiotics like penicillin or sulfonamides. This isn't about saying no to antibiotics, it's about using them wisely and lovingly for your body, especially when your kidneys are involved. Number 6 on our journey to kidney care is all about keeping an eye on your blood sugar levels. If you're someone who deals with high blood sugar or diabetes, you've got an extra reason to be vigilant. Here's why, excess sugar in the bloodstream can be a bit of a troublemaker. It tends to harm the tiny, yet mighty, nephrons and blood vessels in your kidneys. When these are damaged, your kidneys can't do their job as well as they should. For those living with diabetes, this means being extra attentive to your kidney health. Regular checkups with your doctor can spot any kidney hiccups early on, which means you can take steps to prevent further damage. As we move to point number 7, let's have a heart to heart about supplements. It's easy to get swept up in the world of vitamins, herbal extracts, protein bars, and shakes, isn't it? They promise so much, but here's the catch, just like with medications. These supplements can be a bit of a challenge for your kidneys. They have to work harder to filter out the waste from all these compounds. So, here's my friendly advice, let's not overdo it with the supplements. If you're considering adding something new to your regimen, have a chat with your doctor first. They're like detectives with these things, able to decipher the ingredients and tell you how they might impact your kidneys. 
Now, let's gently approach number 8, the impact of smoking and excessive drinking. We all know these habits aren't our friends when it comes to long-term health. So, if you smoke, think about giving it up, and try to keep a check on how much alcohol you're consuming. Here's why it's so important, both heavy drinking and smoking can hike up your blood pressure. High blood pressure is like an uninvited guest for your kidneys, putting undue strain on those tiny, hard-working blood vessels. Taking care of your body, staying active, and ensuring your kidneys are healthy are vital for your overall well-being. Keep an eye out for any signs that your kidneys might need some extra attention. But more importantly, try to follow these 8 steps to keep kidney disease at bay.